Hermes Trismegistus, often considered a fusion of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth, is an enigmatic figure whose influence permeates various aspects of Western thought. The name Trismegistus means thrice greatest, highlighting his supposed mastery over three realms, the divine, the celestial, and the earthly. While the historical existence of Hermes Trismegistus is a subject of debate, his impact is undeniably far-reaching, particularly through the philosophical and spiritual tradition known as Hermeticism. The Hermetic texts, especially the Corpus Hermeticum, are a collection of dialogues and teachings that delve into topics ranging from astrology and alchemy to the nature of God and the cosmos. These texts were translated into Latin during the Renaissance, a period marked by a revival of art, science, and spirituality. Scholars like Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola were deeply influenced by Hermetic thought, and their works laid the intellectual groundwork for the Renaissance. Hermeticism also had a significant impact on the development of alchemy, both as a physical practice and a spiritual metaphor. The transformation of base metals into gold served as an allegory for spiritual enlightenment, a central tenet of Hermeticism. This idea is encapsulated in the Hermetic maxim, as above, so below, which posits that understanding the divine order leads to mastery over the earthly realm. The influence of Hermes Trismegistus extends into modern times as well. The New Age movement has adopted many Hermetic principles, particularly the belief that individuals can achieve divinity through personal development and self-understanding. In academia, Hermeticism is often studied as a precursor to the Enlightenment, a period that prioritized reason and science over religious dogma. Whether viewed as a historical figure or a mythical construct, Hermes Trismegistus embodies the human quest for knowledge and transcendental truth. His teachings offer a lens through which to explore the complexities of human thought and the timeless pursuit of understanding. The Emerald Tablet, also known as the Smaragdin Tablet or Tabula Smaragdina, is a brief but highly influential text attributed to Hermes Trismegistus. It serves as one of the foundational documents of Hermeticism, a spiritual, philosophical, and esoteric tradition that has influenced Western thought for centuries. The text is shrouded in mystery with its origins traced back to various sources ranging from ancient Egypt to the Islamic Golden Age. Regardless of its historical ambiguity, the Emerald Tablet has had a lasting impact on various fields, including alchemy, philosophy, and modern esotericism. The tablet is most famous for its concise, twelve-line statement that begins with the words, It is true, without a lie, certain and most true, and includes the well-known maxim, as above, so below, as below, so above. This phrase encapsulates the hermetic principle of correspondence, which posits that the microcosm and the macrocosm are reflections of each other. In simpler terms, the workings of the universe can be understood by studying its individual components, and vice versa. The text also delves into the concept of the one thing, a primal, undivided reality from which all diversity emanates. This idea has been interpreted in various ways, from the alchemical pursuit of the philosopher's stone to the spiritual quest for enlightenment. The tablet describes a process of dissolution and coagulation, symbolizing the transformative journey of the soul. This has been a cornerstone in alchemical thought, where the process of turning base metals into gold serves as a metaphor for spiritual purification and enlightenment. The Emerald Tablet has been translated into numerous languages and commented upon by various scholars and philosophers throughout history. During the Renaissance, it was translated into Latin and was a critical text for scholars like Roger Bacon and Isaac Newton. It played a significant role in the development of modern Western alchemy and even influenced the scientific revolution. The tablet's principles were integrated into the holistic worldview of the time, bridging the gap between science and spirituality. 
In modern times, the emerald tablet continues to be a subject of interest for those studying esoteric traditions, spiritual alchemy, and the history of science. Its principles have been adopted by New Age movements and have influenced modern interpretations of ancient wisdom traditions. The text has even found its way into popular culture, appearing in various forms of media, from books to movies, as a symbol of hidden wisdom and the transformative power of knowledge. In summary, the Emerald Tablet serves as a seminal text in the Hermetic tradition, encapsulating complex ideas about the nature of reality, the interconnectedness of all things, and the transformative power of knowledge. Its influence spans multiple disciplines and eras, making it one of the most enduring and intriguing texts in the history of Western thought. The seven Hermetic principles serve as the foundational concepts of Hermetic thought, a philosophical and spiritual tradition attributed to Herm's Trismegistus. These principles are often considered the keys to understanding and mastering the natural world in both its physical and metaphysical aspects. They are usually outlined in texts like the Kybalion, which aims to elucidate these ancient teachings for a modern audience. The first principle, known as the principle of mentalism, posits that all is mind, the universe is mental. This principle suggests that everything in existence emanates from a single universal consciousness. It implies that our individual minds are fragments of this greater mind and that understanding this connection can lead to deeper insights into the nature of reality. The second principle, the principle of correspondence, is encapsulated in the phrase, as above, so below, as below, so above. This principle asserts that there is a correspondence or reflection between the various planes of existence, whether they be physical, mental, or spiritual. Understanding the workings of one plane can, therefore, provide insights into the workings of another. The third principle, the principle of vibration, states that everything is in motion, everything vibrates, nothing is at rest. This principle explains that the differences between different manifestations of matter, energy, and even spirit result from varying rates of vibration. From the highest forms of spirit to the lowest forms of matter, everything is in a vibratory state. The fourth principle, the principle of polarity, posits that all manifested things have two sides, two aspects, or two poles. Everything is and isn't at the same time, all truths are but half-truths, and every truth is half-false. This principle is often illustrated by the concept of temperature, with hot and cold viewed as different degrees of the same thing. The fifth principle, the principle of rhythm, states that there is a rhythm to everything in existence, an ebb and flow, a to-and-fro movement that is a fundamental part of nature. This principle can be observed in the cycles of day and night, the changing seasons, and the rise and fall of nations and economies. The sixth principle, the principle of cause and effect, holds that every cause has an effect, and every effect has a cause. Nothing happens by chance. Chance is just a term used to describe an effect when the cause is not recognized or perceived. This principle underscores the idea that we live in a lawful universe. The seventh and final principle, the principle of gender states that gender is present in everything. The masculine and feminine principles are always at work. This is not restricted to sexual gender, but extends to the idea that these two principles operate on all planes and scales. The principle is often used to explain how creation and regeneration occur in the universe. These principles are not isolated teachings but are interrelated, each one helping to explain the others. They serve as a comprehensive framework for understanding the world in a holistic manner, transcending the limitations of any one discipline or perspective. Over the centuries, these principles have influenced a wide range of fields, from philosophy and religion to science and psychology, making them a cornerstone of Western esoteric thought. In Hermetic philosophy, 
the interplay of masculine and feminine energies is not merely a description of gender roles or sexual dynamics, but a fundamental concept that pervades all levels of existence. This idea is encapsulated in the seventh Hermetic principle, known as the principle of gender, which posits that all things contain both masculine and feminine elements. These energies are not confined to biological sex, but are archetypal qualities that exist in all things and processes, from the natural world to human psychology and spiritual experiences. The masculine energy, in Hermetic thought, is often associated with qualities like logic, action, and assertiveness. It is the driving force, the initiator of change, and the provider of form. In contrast, the feminine energy is linked to intuition, receptivity, and nurturing. It is the receptive force that allows for growth and transformation, the matrix in which change occurs. Both energies are considered essential for creation and transformation, and neither is viewed as superior to the other. In many ways, the interplay of these energies can be likened to a dance, where each partner brings unique but complementary skills and qualities. The masculine sets the pace and provides the structure, while the feminine fills that structure with content and nuance. In the natural world, this can be seen in the way that the seed, masculine, provides the initial spark of life, while the soil and the conditions for growth, feminine, allow that life to flourish. This concept also extends to mental and emotional realms. For example, the act of setting a goal and pursuing it with determination can be seen as a masculine energy, while the ability to adapt, learn, and grow along the journey can be attributed to feminine energy. Both are necessary for achieving success and personal growth. In spiritual terms, the masculine energy is often associated with the transcendent, the sky, and the realm of pure consciousness, while the feminine is linked to the imminent, the earth, and the realm of matter and form. Spiritual practices often involve balancing these energies to achieve a state of wholeness. For instance, meditation can be seen as a masculine practice in its emphasis on detachment and transcendence, while prayer and devotion can be seen as feminine in their focus on imminence and emotional connection. The concept of the interplay between masculine and feminine energies in Hermetic philosophy has had a profound influence on Western esoteric traditions. It has been integrated into practices like alchemy, where the union of opposites is a central theme, and has influenced modern disciplines like psychology, particularly in theories that focus on the integration of opposites within the individual psyche. Understanding the interplay of masculine and feminine energies offers a nuanced framework for looking at the world, transcending simplistic dualities, and embracing a more holistic and integrated view of reality. It provides a metaphysical basis for balance and harmony, emphasizing the importance of both action and receptivity, form and content, transcendence and imminence, in the unfolding of life's complexities. Hermeticism, a philosophical and spiritual tradition rooted in ancient teachings, offers a wealth of practical applications and daily practices that can be integrated into modern life. These practices aim to foster personal transformation, spiritual enlightenment, and a deeper understanding of the universe. They are grounded in the seven Hermetic principles, mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. These principles serve as a guide for various practices that range from meditation and visualization to ethical living and self-examination. Meditation is a cornerstone in hermetic practice, often used to cultivate the principle of mentalism, which posits that all is mind. Through meditation, practitioners aim to quiet the mind and connect with higher states of consciousness. This can involve focusing on the breath, a mantra, or even a complex symbol known as a sigil to align one's mental state with desired outcomes. The idea is to become aware of the interconnectedness of all things and the role of the mind in shaping reality. 
Visualization techniques are also commonly employed in Hermeticism. These can be used for various purposes, such as manifesting desires, enhancing personal qualities, or connecting with archetypal energies. The principle of correspondence, encapsulated in the phrase, as above, so below, is often invoked here. Practitioners may visualize a desired outcome as already existing in the higher planes of existence and then draw it down into the material world. Ethical living is another practical application of hermetic principles, particularly cause and effect, which teaches that every action has a consequence. Hermeticism encourages living in harmony with natural laws and ethical principles, advocating for honesty, integrity, and kindness. The idea is that by living in accordance with universal laws, one can achieve a state of balance and harmony, both within oneself and in the external world. Journaling and self-examination are also recommended practices. These can be particularly useful for understanding the principles of polarity and rhythm, which deal with the dualities and cycles of life. By keeping a record of one's thoughts, feelings, and experiences, it becomes easier to identify patterns, understand cycles, and gain insights into the opposing forces at work in one's life. Rituals and ceremonies are other avenues through which hermetic principles can be applied. These can range from simple daily affirmations to more elaborate ceremonies involving symbols, music, and invocations. Rituals can serve multiple purposes, such as aligning oneself with specific energies, marking significant life transitions, or expressing devotion to a higher power. Hermeticism also places a strong emphasis on the study and application of symbolism. Symbols are seen as keys that can unlock deeper layers of meaning and understanding. This can involve the study of sacred geometry, astrology, and tarot, among other symbolic systems. The aim is to use these symbols as tools for self-discovery and spiritual growth. In summary, Hermeticism offers a rich tapestry of practical applications and daily practices aimed at personal and spiritual transformation. Through meditation, visualization, ethical living, self-examination, rituals, and the study of symbolism, practitioners can integrate Hermetic principles into their daily lives, fostering a deeper understanding of themselves and the universe.